Harmonics 1. Standing waves and vibrating strings. Standing waves are waves that remain in a constant position. They arise in a stationary medium as a result of interference between two waves traveling in opposite directions. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say we have a string set on a fixed boundary. Let's say the fixed boundary is here. Now, if we send a wave down the string, that wave will strike the wall and a wave will reflect back in the uh, back towards us in the opposite direction. So this is the wave we send and then this is the reflected wave. Now with the right length of string and the right frequency we can generate what we call a standing wave. So with a standing wave it looks as if there's more than one wave present. So it's But actually it's just the superposition of two waves traveling in opposite directions. So uh, let's go over a, a couple quick terms. So this is what we call the first standing wave. Okay, so this is the first standing wave with one pair of standing waves. This is what we call the second standing wave and then the third standing wave. Now each of these require a very specific frequency in order to generate. We call this the uh, first harmonic frequency, the second harmonic frequency, and the third harmonic frequency. These frequencies will generate these uh, standing waves. Now, a couple of important terms are anything at the equilibrium position, these are called nodes. Okay, nodes. And then the highest point on the crest of the wave, the highest point, is called an antinode. Okay. Note, we only count the antinode of one of the pairs. So for in this example, we'd have two antinodes and three nodes. In this case, we'd have one, two, three, four four nodes and one, two, three, three antinodes. Okay? We only count for antinodes, we only count one of the pair. One of the pair. Okay, two important equations. To determine first the harmonic wavelength or the fundamental wavelength, we use the equation two times the length of the string divided by the harmonic number. So the harmonic number is basically just, um, you know, what number of the standing wave are we looking at? So for the harmonic number of the first standing wave, the harmonic number would equal one. Okay, so n would equal one. For the second standing wave, n would equal two, and so on and so forth. So that's what the harmonic number is. Uh, for the harmonic frequency, or what we call the fundamental frequency, we use the equation the harmonic number times the velocity of the wave divided by two times the length. Okay, so what these tell you are, these tell you basically uh, almost as if a, a recipe for how to generate uh, standing waves. What frequency do I need to um, generate the waves in order to, in order to produce a harmonic wave?